Craig's Noise has released the new AI version 3.0. And the title of this video is not misleading. We should really first have a good talk about what this very special release is before you think about downloading it. And we do that right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So I discovered this release today in Facebook in a German forum where Frank Sackenheim, who is a member of the Gragsburg team, actually announced this. So I will quote him now, or better, I will quote the translation of his post. The Gragsburg team has integrated a new AI variant for denoising called version 3.0, which is based on a new network architecture. The AI is significantly slower than version 2.0 and requires computing power. However, the results are much sharper compared to 2.0. One should also pay attention not to overdo it, as excessive noise levels no longer look natural. It provides an alternative to the conventional model. Okay, here you have it. So I think we have to look out for two things. One is, what does significantly slower mean? And second of all, how much better is it? Now for the second one, we will go afterwards to PixInsight and have a look. But let's first discuss this significantly slower. When I read this, I thought, well, okay, so it's perhaps double or triple. So instead of two minutes, it might be four minutes or six minutes until you get the result. And if it's much better, why not? Now, as you know, I have a Mac, I have an M2 Pro Mac mini with 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I have quite some computing power. But we already saw with the Autograx Per Denoise version that on a Mac of the M series, it is rather slow because they haven't found a way until now to really utilize the GPU architecture of the M Max while I constantly heard from the Windows side that they got much faster results. With that all said, on my Mac, it takes 46, not seconds, minutes until one picture is processed with the new AI. From two minutes to 46 minutes. I read from others who had a Mac M1 where it took 20 minutes, might also be a different resolution and so on, but it's huge numbers. Now I trust that for Windows PCs, it goes much faster. And if you have a Windows PC, um, please leave your processing time in the comments below. It's really interesting to hear the different durations. And so before we now go and pick inside and really look at how much better it is, we have to be very clear that the usability aspect we're coming from very different angles. If someone on a PC side needs now four or six minutes to process it, it needs much less improvement that this person would say, well, actually switch to a 3.0 than from a Mac user side, where it would practically need to trigger an auto A-pod <laughs> that it would be worth waiting 45 minutes for a picture to process, just for denoising. So I think just from a timing point of view, at the present time, AI 3.0 is, is off the table. Nice concept. How good ever it is, I will not wait 45 minutes. But I hope that they will actually accomplish to code it the right way for the Mac, so that it actually use it, utilizes the unified GPU, which then makes it blazing fast. And with that all said, let's go into PixInsight and still look at how much better is AI 3.0. Okay, and welcome to PixInsight. Before we start, I just got two inputs from my Patreon 
One PC user who works with CUDA acceleration reported that it takes five minutes for him to get one picture. That is for him still 20 times slower than with noise exterminator. And another, I think, helpful input is that if you run the denoising on the Graxpert app and not in PixInsight, then when you want to rerun it with a different strength, it does it practically instantly. Here in PixInsight, you have to run the whole script again. It takes again the other 40 minutes or five minutes or whatever you have. So that might also at the moment be an option. But still, at least once you have to go through the whole duration as it takes. Anyway, let's go now to the image quality. So we take the same picture as last time. So if you look at it in all its glory, that's how it looks like. But for this case here, we zoom it in on a 1.1 level. So as before, we see we have here definitely some noise. It's not horrific, but there is some noise around. Here is the Graxpert script in PixInsight. One nice feature that I actually found is this noise evaluation here. When you press it, it starts a noise evaluation script and you get a nice reporting back how much noise you actually have, which might also help you then to change the strength. When it comes to the strength in the default mode, it's at one, so full blast, which is obviously way too strong for most cases. And that's also I've seen in the warning of Frank. So here we have to go down. The question is how much? And that is what I want to show you now, because here this denoising one, this is with the AI 2.0. So that is our best picture as we had it last time. And now I did run my first picture here with an estimate of 60%. That's what I did because I thought, you know, there's still some noise around. 60 might be about okay. So let's now toggle this. And the difference is absolutely striking. But I don't know in a good or in a bad way. <laughs> First of all, there is no noise anymore. N not a bit. The noise is just gone. And that's the good news. The bad news is, and probably that the noise is gone, you might not even see in the YouTube algorithm, but um, what you might see is that it gets blurry. There is so much structure here, which gets lost. And that's really not good. And here actually, I have to disagree with Frank who says it, char it sharpens much. I do not feel that it sharpens much because if it would sharpen, then these structures would stay, but they get blurry. So if your goal is to completely eradicate any noise from your picture, that's the tool to go. And it does it without the artifacts of noise exterminator, you can really go full blast and remove all noise, but it comes with a price. Now, based on that experience, I went down to 40%. And with 40%, there is practically no difference anymore. It's about the same noise level. It might have a little bit less artifacts. It's a little tiny bit cleaner, but 45 minutes for that? Nope. But I would say this is about the level now that you would also take in reality. Because if you take more, it starts to get blurry. And this way the structures are still okay. And if you have a very fast PC, absolutely by all means, 
use it, you will get a little bit the better results than with the AI too. But this is now on a one-on-one -on -one level. And if I would zoom out now, you wouldn't see the least bit of difference. So from that point again, I would say for the moment, it's a very special tool for very special situations where you have very difficult noise, a lot of noise, or you just need the absolute best quality because you want to file it for a pod or anything like that. Okay, that was it. I think my verdict I already told you before we went into Pixie Insight, but I think for you, given on which operating system you are, given what your needs are, you might think differently. But at least I could show you um, what this AI 3.0 is all about. So see you next time and clear skies.